Yo, what's good YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, uh, as you can tell by the title of thumbnail, we're going to be going over don't make these same accounting mistakes when starting your box truck business. Um, I pretty much made two big accounting mistakes that were pretty easily avoidable. I just didn't have any guidance and I'm here to give you this information um, so that you could have an easier journey than I did. And I love helping other people. So um, if you want to grab a pen and a paper, I have four quick steps that you'll need to do when starting your box truck business. Um, and this will all kind of tie into the mistakes that I made um, with I use QuickBooks and uh, accounting slash bookkeeping stuff. So step number one is you're going to want to create a obviously a business name. Um, when creating a business name, a tip to you is I would personally keep it short. Um, you're going to be giving this to brokers and everybody you pretty much deal with um, along the way. So if it's short, simple, sweet, um, it'll save you a lot of time and a headache and making sure emails are you know spelled correctly when getting rate confirmation and uh, care agreements and whoever you're dealing with. Um, also, um, make sure obviously do a quick Google search and make sure the name already hasn't been used or taken and um, you know that's pretty simple to do. There's a couple websites you can just plug in and make sure that that name already hasn't been taken. So step one is create the business name, which I'm sure you already you already have done if you're watching this video. Um, step two is I used Inkfile for this. It's just a service that helps you complete these documents um, that I filled out. And these documents are you're going to need a article of organization. I'll go ahead and throw that up on the screen right now. What that means and why you need it. And you're also going to need to fill out and get a tax ID slash EIN number um, for step two. Um, I used Inkfile. Um, you can go Google this if you want. They also offer a whole bunch of other services um, for your business, such as getting domain names, creating uh, custom emails, business templates, etc., etc. Um, so we'll go over the steps here again. So step one, create a business name. Step two. Um, create an EIN slash tax ID number and do your articles of organization. Um, step three, we're going to go ahead and set up a business bank account. So um, I chose to do Chase for mine. Uh, what you're going to do is call your local bank or whoever you choose to do business with and say, hey, I'm interested in setting up a business bank account. They'll set up an appointment with you and um, just ask them what you'll need to do it. I believe you'll need to bring in your articles of organization. You'll need to bring in your tax ID slash EIN number. Um, now going back to step two, an ink file, they'll give you a printout of all this. Like It's very professional looking, um, so you'll bring that with you to the bank when creating the business bank account. And uh, obviously you also need your ID. Um, while you're getting the business bank account created, I would also suggest applying for a business line of credit, um, which is basically a credit card, you know, um, to go ahead and build your credit. Um, so step four is this is where I made the mistake. Um, as soon as you do that, you're going to want to go ahead and sign up with QuickBooks or whoever you choose to do your bookkeeping with. And then you're going to want to link your business bank account with QuickBooks right away. Um, once you do that, you'll go ahead and upload the receipt into, um, well, for uh, ink file obviously it's a fee um, for you to follow your stuff with them so I paid four hundred fifty nine dollars so you're gonna want to upload that receipt right away and the whole reason why I came up with these steps is because I did not create a QuickBooks account for over a month and a half I just I don't know why but I was using some uh, website creating invoices and I was just keeping a file of them and then obviously filing all my receipts off on the side in order um, which doesn't make any sense at all um, now that I look back um, but I was just so focused on you know getting this contract and working with this one company and running their load so um, make sure you get your QuickBooks and link everything right away so that you can you know keep track and categorize everything as in maintenance or um, you know fuel whatever there's a whole bunch of bunch of categories inside of when you upload your receipts into QuickBooks and then uh, since I didn't do that for a month and a half a lot of my stuff is uh, not adding up and then um, so yeah that's pretty much my first big mistake is that I didn't get QuickBooks right away um, to upload all my stuff uh, receipts invoices whatever it may be um, the second big mistake that I made was um, when I started uh, when my contract ended with this company running loads um, I was starting to work off the load boards and factor loads. So before with this company, 
it was net 18 days for payment. So I'd create an invoice and I'd send it to them and then 18 days later, boom, I'd look, okay, I got paid, market paid. So with factoring, there's a whole list of stuff that you need to do. Um, I'm gonna link a couple YouTube videos down below that are very informative that you can follow along um, that you need to do because basically when you factor, somebody's loaning you the money and you really haven't been paid by the customer yet, so hence you might wanna mark paid, um, but that customer still may never pay. Um, so I'm going to be making more videos on how to factor and dive deeper into it. But in the meantime, I'm going to be dropping um, this four steps that you'll need to do uh, so you don't make these accounting mistakes when starting your box truck business. I'm going to link those four steps below. I'm going to link QuickBooks below. I don't get any money or any you know thing if you hit my links, but just to help you guys out. Uh, so I'll link a couple YouTube videos down below for factoring. I'll link the steps down below in the description so you can follow these steps. That's pretty much it. Yeah, I'll link everything down below. Um, for QuickBooks, you can do sign up with that. Uh, you can uh, see the steps down below and then also the YouTube videos on how to do uh, factor and how to enter that data into QuickBooks so that um, all your you know, factor loan payable and your aging reports and all that fun stuff is all makes sense. And so when you go to do taxes at the end of the year, you can give all this stuff to your accountant and they could easily run through everything. Um, so yeah, just don't make these two mistakes that I did. Follow these four steps and make sure you sign up with QuickBooks right away as soon as you, um, you know, create the business bank account, as soon as you do uh, steps one through four. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, comment, like, and subscribe. We finally got over 300 subscribers, so I guess the next milestone would be 400. And uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next vid. Peace.